Hey guys, this is Brent Rose. So I've always been really curious about how the best surfers in the world pop up when they pop up to their feet on their surfboards. Um, and uh, whenever I watch uh, pro contests and stuff, whenever they show that perfect, beautiful slow motion, it's always of the them riding the wave, but it always cuts in after they've already popped up. I really wanted to see that close up slow motion detail of how the best in the world do that. So uh, a couple months ago, I had the opportunity to cover uh, the Founders Cup for Deadspin, which was uh, the first major surf contest at Kelly Slater's uh, surf ranch. And uh, when I wasn't shooting still photos, which you can see on my Instagram, uh, I was shooting slow motion video. And I always tried to start while they were still paddling into the wave. So with that in mind, let's look at how the best surfers in the world pop up. So to start it off, let's rewind this clip to the beginning of Jordy Smith, who absolutely dominated at this event. So here he is taking his last few strokes. Uh, he's digging pretty deep to get a lot of leverage. He'll take one last quick double stroke before he puts his hands down. You'll see his left hand is a bit in front of his right hand. And then look how much faster his right foot, as his back foot comes down before his front foot. Um, it hits a track pad really early and then front foot comes down and he's off to the races. Now here we have the GOAT, 11-time world champion, Kelly Slater. And in these last few strokes, you can see he's really kicking like crazy. And that's not so much to propel him forward, but to keep his board on a hydrodynamic plane so it goes smoother. So he pops up, hands toward the nose of his board, knees come high, and then both feet hit at the same time, which is counter to what we just saw from Jordy. And uh, then there he goes. All right, and now the reigning back-to-back -back world champion, John John Florence. His elbows come way high, hands go back toward his waist, and look how high his front knee comes up. I mean, it actually hits him in the chest before it pops down. Uh, both feet hit at the same time, and his back foot is way ahead of the traction pad. So uh, I guess he's using that to generate drive. What do you guys think? And now we have three-time world champion, Chris Moore. She takes one last powerful double stroke. Uh, her hands are pretty much evenly placed and her back foot hits way before her front foot. She kind of swings her front foot through after she's already planted that back foot in the middle of the traction pad. And then she takes off. And now here's one for the Goofies. About to go backside on this right is former world champ, Gabriel Medina. Now, he's really, really precise. His hands are exactly even, but look how tweaked his hips are. His left hip is way, way high. And he basically just rotates his legs and his feet hit the board at the same time. Uh, but that back knee is already pre-dropped and he's ready to go. And now here's another former world champion sporting a world champion mustache is Joel Parkinson. And he really just glides into this thing, both hands down really evenly, gets his back real high, feet hit at almost the exact same time, back foot maybe a little bit before, but uh, yeah, he's just smooth as hell and makes it look so easy. And now six-time world champ Steph Gilmore springs into this one. Her hands are pretty far forward, left foot hits right between her two front hands, and she kind of starts out compressed and just jumps out of this pop-up and into her first turn. Here's another goofy foot. This is Mr. Matt Wilkinson. And when he pops up, you can see his right hand is almost a full hand's length in front of his left. And that causes his chest to be pre-rotated. So he just puts his back foot down, steps his right foot through, and his chest is already rotated from where he put his hands down. And uh, he's basically in the surf position by the time his hands leave the rails. Now, when Chloe Andino pops up, you can really see the power in that first push. He's putting a ton of pressure onto the deck of his board, and it just thumps down once his hands hit the rails. So, boom, and then his back foot drops, followed by his front closely afterwards. Now, here's Brazil's Silvana Lima. She takes one last powerful stroke to give her that glide. Hands flat on the deck with her left just a little bit ahead back foot hits just before her right foot and she just springs into that first push that propels her down the line. One of the biggest standouts from this event was Philippe Toledo. So here you can see his left hand is just a tiny bit ahead of his right. His back pops up and his hips just kind of rotate. They don't really drop back down again. Uh, his back foot hits a little before his front foot and he's gone. Another goofy foot, uh, Bianca Batendag, hopefully I'm saying that right, has a really interesting style. Uh, her right hand is definitely in front of her left, 
Um, and then she has really two distinctive steps. Her back foot hits, solidly plants, and then the front foot comes down. And last but not least, we have Tahitian powerhouse Michel Bourrez. He's taking a couple last powerful strokes. His left hand plants just a little bit in front of his right, and his back comes up super high. And because of that, he almost just lets gravity carry his knees forward. Him swinging through, uh, left one hits him in the chest, feet plant at basically the exact same time, and he is out of there. So yeah, those are my observations from watching these pros pop up in slow motion. Um, I'm by no means a professional surfer or surf coach myself, so these are just my observations. I'm really curious to hear what you guys think, what you guys see, are there things that I said that you disagree with, are there things you want to add? Uh, I'd love the comments to be uh, a discussion where you can really kind of break down some of the style and techniques here, and hopefully this becomes a resource for us all. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so. Uh, and if you want to see some photos from this event, go to my Instagram, which is at Brent Danger Rose. Thanks for watching.